how did this film happen like i'm not actually really sure i still don't know how they discovered me <laughs> this must have been quite different from what you've learned right and everything while you're dancing for the folk stuff right 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 yeah right. i used to just be standing and dancing <laughs> and like, no you have to do the half set so yeah <laughs> i learned all those different sort of things when you were really young so 7 years old so what's your earliest memory in life like i couldn't speak english <laughs> when you first moved to new zealand okay i wasn't really good um so i got bullied like big time at school okay my parents just said like when you go to school say my name's lata and i can't speak english and that was probably the word were you clued into telugu cinema at all like did you watch any films i've the film and i actually really liked it okay i loved it um yeah mahesh babu is my favorite <laughs> <laughs> Lata thank you so much for joining us it's a great pleasure welcome. to have you on the show first of all welcome to tollywood uh, thank you <laughs> tuntari is your debut film releasing on march 11th yeah so what's going through your mind are you nervous i'm very nervous i'm very excited i'm everything <laughs> so uh i believe that you have a dual degree in um, something completely unrelated to film films me. yeah um so. it's marketing and management so i was actually planning to finish that and do my mba but This came in between, so yeah, it's great though. You really liking it? Like, did you like the whole process of filmmaking and all that? Yeah, it was really new to me because you know it's my first film, and um, I'd only done Miss India New Zealand before that. You're from New Zealand. Miss India New Zealand. I mean, I, I ask you, are you from New Zealand? Like, not many people know about that. Yeah, well, I was born in um, Bangalore. Okay. So then I moved to New Zealand when I was a kid, so about seven. So right. I guess I'm from New Zealand <laughs> because I'm brought up there. Right. Yeah. So uh, how did this film happen? Like, how did you discover uh, for Tuntari? It's actually a pretty long story. So basically, the um, so I did Miss India New Zealand, right? So I guess I was like my photos and stuff were out. So the director found me, I guess, through Facebook. because um somebody contacted me from facebook and was like would you like to um be a part of this movie and at that point i was like is this real <laughs> and then when i discovered that yeah it's real i was like yeah so i guess it was facebook i'm not actually really sure i still don't know how they discovered me <laughs> so, yeah is this the first time ever that somebody approached you for a role in a film through facebook or Did you get more inquiries? No, I've, inquiries I've had heaps of people approaching me through Facebook. Okay. But um this seemed more real. Okay. Because um this seemed more real because they gave me all the details and everything so it was easy for me to trace it and yeah, so When did you come to India? Uh, was this sometime last year in the middle of last year? Yeah, I came last year in July and I stayed till October so for about 3 months. So that's like two back to back summers for you right yeah and long I've summer been experienced the winter in so long <laughs> i don't know if that's a good thing well i love winter so it's a bad thing for me yeah. was it really tough to shoot in india though because the first time you're working yeah. in such heat right yeah um yeah i went at least five shades darker but apart from that yeah it was it was shooting itself was really hard for me because i'm so new to it and the language is new the place is new so Yeah, it was difficult but I guess it was the best experience I've ever had in my life so far. I mean, what makes you say that uh, that this is your best experience so far? Because it's so different. Um I got to meet so many new people, learn learn a little bit of a new language and just it was really good working with everyone and being in a new place. Now, uh dialogues. No, uh, did you have to learn dialogues in Telugu? Like Yeah. <laughs> did you like spend sleepless nights reciting lines and all that? No. Um okay. I kind of learned them on the set. Like I was given the sheet on the set. Half an hour before the shot. Yeah. Uh, just in the shot. Okay. Yeah. Mhm. Right. And then uh, what happened like was it easy for you or did you just manage it somehow? I managed somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um like if I'm put under pressure, I work really well. So I guess uh. in that half an hour my <laughs> brain is just at it. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was working with Rohit the first first film first director no rohit was really nice um he's really down to earth and he's just probably the most chilled out person i've ever come across yeah so it was really nice working with him tell me what your experiences uh from this shoot you know any interesting experiences everything was interesting i can't think of one thing that was interesting but um when we were shooting in chikmangalore mm-hmm. um it was 
freezing, like so freezing, and I had to dance with like a little skirt and a top. Um, yeah. yeah, so my face was basically purple <laughs> after some time, and they just covered it with makeup and were like, "Go to the shot." <laughs> Why? Because it was so cold? It was so cold. It was right. just like there was ice like on my face. Like it was so cold. And also there was tigers and all sorts of wild animals on, uh -huh. in that place. Somebody got attacked as well, I think. Okay. And a place close to me, so it's okay. scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So uh, you also did your first ever folk song in this film, right? Yeah, that right. was really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's called Ding Dong Darling. Right, so you wouldn't have imagined yourself doing that ever, right? Never. <laughs> That's why I said this is such a great experience. So what, did you have to just shed your inhibitions and just do it, whatever you wanted yeah, to do? Yeah, just YOLO. So, um, when you look back, what is it that you have learned from the film? You know? From the film? From the whole experience actually, you know, coming down to India for a film. And then uh, what is it that you've learned from? You have to be really dedicated and work really, really hard to, you know, get an outcome as good as this. And I learned a lot of things, actually. I learned how to dance <laughs> as well. And I learned a little bit of acting. Mm -hmm. So I've learned quite a bit. Oh, and a bit uh, of Telugu, a little bit. What, you've never learned to dance uh, back home there in New Zealand? Um, I haven't learned a particular type of dancing, but I used to do Bollywood dancing. Okay. Yeah. This must have been quite different from what you've learned, right? Yeah, yeah, dancing yeah. You have to do the whole half sit and everything while you're dancing for the folk stuff. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, I right. used to just be standing and dancing <laughs> and he's like, no, you have to do the half sit. So, yeah, <laughs> I learned all those different sort of things. Funniest incident on the set, um, what happened? Nobody pulled a prank on you, seriously? No. Okay. Um, funniest is probably... Um, Baba Bhaskar, the dance choreographer, he just used to always make me laugh um, yeah. because I had no idea what he was saying because he right. speaks in Tamil right most of the time right. and he used to tell me something and I used to do something different and then people would just laugh and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> those sorts of things um, were pretty funny and yeah he, used to, he, yeah, he was just really funny. He was really nice to work with. Uh, director Kumar Nagendra, you know, yeah. how was it working with um, It was really good working with him. He's also really, really chilled out and calm. So I was pretty scared. Um, actually, when I was coming down from there, I heard that directors are quite, you know, like yeah. uh, strict and everything. But he was just so, so, so nice to me. And um, just probably the best person I got to work with so far. So this is your first film, obviously. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so. <laughs> I mean, to say, like, from what I had in mind right, right, and, right. like, the person that he was, was it just made me feel really relaxed. Right. While I was working, and I wasn't freaked out as much. Right. So, prior to coming to Hyderabad for this Telugu film, uh, were you clued into Telugu cinema at all? Like, did you watch any films? Did you have? Do you have any? I watched films? Agadu. Agadu. In the cinemas there. Okay. Yeah, because Music? I have a few Telugu friends. Okay. So, um, they dragged me into that Agadu film, and I actually really liked it. Okay. I loved it. Um, yeah, Mahesh Babu. He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, where was Auckland? Auckland, yeah. Okay. So what, you spent your entire life there? Yeah, basically. I was there when I was seven, so... Right, right. So, uh, we keep hearing a lot of stuff about New Zealand, but it's, it's literally in the far corner of the earth. So not many people visit it, at least from India, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's life... Probably they just go there to study and settle down there. It's not... Very few tourists, right? No? It's like a tourist place. It is, but then I don't know if attract so many people from India yeah. right? because of the distance factor maybe you know yeah. I'm guessing that's the reason <laughs> <Other side. laughs> it's so hard for me to travel from there to here <laughs> right. so what's life back home uh, how's life back home you know? um, it's really nice clean quiet um, when I come down to India I just keep hearing noises all the time <laughs> <laughs> when I'm sleeping I still hear cars going down and past and when I go there it's completely silent <laughs> Just no sound whatsoever. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's really small and not many people as well. Right. So yeah, I guess it's 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 more of a tourist place. I, I reckon like a lot of people go to the South Island. Okay. Yeah. So what, uh, every time you come down here, do you miss your home a lot because of? Yeah, and when I go back there, I miss India. So right. that's always there. <laughs> right. So uh, you studied in Auckland, right? So. Yeah. What were you dreaming of when you were growing up? Like, what did you want to become? 
Actually, I never had a certain thing that I wanted to become. Like every month, it would change. Every month. Yeah, like okay. sometimes I'll be like, okay, maybe I should try modeling. You know, it looks like a lot of fun. And I'm like, no, no, I want to become a doctor. <laughs> no, no, I want to do this. So yeah, it's always changing. Right. And eventually, I decided that I want to do an MBA and um, work in like HR or something like that. Okay. But then this came along. Right. So now I'm confused again. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right. But films take longer to make, you know that, right? As in like, yeah. you can't change your uh, idea of what you want to become every month. Because yeah. film itself takes about three or four months. Oh, no, no, I now. wouldn't change my mind in the middle of a film. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, if I get good, good projects, then I'll want to pursue this further. Okay. So what, you've made up your mind to give it another shot for like... Yeah, of course. Okay. So how did your family react to this? Because... They wouldn't have dreamt that you would act in a Telugu film. Yeah, no right? way. So, yeah. were they pleasantly surprised? Maybe they shocked? would have thought Canada, oh. but Telugu came along, so they were pretty shocked. Like, right. Yeah. Um, but they're really, really happy. Um, I guess they're the ones who are encouraging the most yeah. to um, pursue further in movies. Right. And yeah, they were really shocked and a bit scared as well when I first uh, came to India. Right. But then. After seeing everything and you know the production I was with was really good, so they were felt good. They would have imagined you acting in a Kannada film. Yeah. Uh, I understand that it's because of your origins, but are you also very uh, clued into Kannada cinema back home as well? Like, do you watch a lot of Kannada films? Uh, I watch the old ones uh, with my family, but okay. I'm not too familiar with the new releases that they have. Okay. So it's all Rajkumar. Rajkumar. And Kumar and all that. Puneet Rajkumar and all. Neet Rajkumar at least from the new Lord, right? Yeah, he is, but he used to act since he was a child, so I've watched ah. his childhood movies. <laughs> <laughs> right, so are you uh, thinking of giving it a shot in Kannada cinema anytime soon? Yeah, I want to. Okay. Yeah, because I can speak the language, right? So I guess it'd be a little bit more easier for me. Yeah, I want to try in all languages actually. It's no, you say from, you're from New Zealand, so what's the craziest thing that you've done in your A lot of people go there to just freak out, bungee jumping, you know, that's the image that the country has, right? Yeah. Apart from a lot of touristy, amazing places and all that. So, in that sense, what's the craziest thing that you've done there? Probably bungee jumping. Did that? Yeah. Okay. The sky tower. Skydiving. Sky tower. Sky tower, okay. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, you should do it too. Where is this? Is it in Auckland? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, you've heard of the sky tower, right? I think so, yeah, I'm not sure, yeah. but I wasn't sure if it's in Auckland or in Christchurch. It's in so. Auckland. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's not the capital, but right. everything cool is in Auckland. Is in Auckland? <laughs> like me. <laughs> Your family moved from India to New Zealand. Yeah. When you were really young, so seven. seven years old. So what's your earliest memory in life? Like, do you remember anything about your life? Back I couldn't speak English. <laughs> when you first moved to New Zealand? Okay. I wasn't really good, um, so I got bullied, like big time at school. Okay. My parents just said like when you go to school say my name's Lata and I can't speak English and that was probably the worst <laughs> thing. <laughs> so yeah I had no friends. Um, it was pretty tough. Yeah. So how long did it take for you to recover from that? Just a year. Oh just a year? Just a year. <laughs> yeah. Because you tend to learn really fast then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're a kid, you learn really fast. Right. Now that I'm first like year was horrible, is it? Completely yeah, horrible. horrible. I used to cry like every day. Right. Uh, what do you remember from your life back in India you know, before moving there? Um, Were you excited to go to New Zealand in the first place? or? No. Um, I yeah. wanted to stay here because I had family and friends here. Yeah, right? Right. I was just like year two. I think they call it second standard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh, huh. Yeah. Um, I just remember a lot of homework in New Zealand, we get nothing, like we got no homework till, till I was like 15, we literally had no homework or anything. Over here it's crazy, the oh. um, education system, right. they're pretty strict. That, that was a good part of studying in New Zealand, obviously. Yeah, it was good, you get to enjoy your childhood right. and the studies really just start kicking in till when you're about 15 or 16. So. And then what, what happens, you get really serious about it or? Just yeah, like when you get to uni it gets really tough. Okay. But I guess at that age you can manage it. So, um, wh what's next for you? you know, the film is releasing on March 11th. Yep. Beyond that, uh, are you thinking of something? What are you planning to do next? Um, right now, I have no plans as yet. Um, there's a few talks going with me doing uh, future projects, but I'll see if anything works out, then I'll um, do another film. 
or I, I might pursue my MBA further. That's my plans as for now. As of now, okay, yeah. right, right. Yeah. But do you have a goal in mind, like five years, ten years down the line, this is what I want to do? No, I've never been that sort of person to have a goal uh, that far ahead because all these unexpected things always happen to me. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't plan anything. I was planning, okay, three years ahead, I'll do my MBA and then settle. And then this movie came, you know, so no point having a goal. <laughs> There's no point having a goal that... Because something always happens. <laughs> Such a big statement to make. Right, anyway, thank you so much, Lata. Uh, it was a great pleasure talking to you. Uh, you as well. All the best for your career ahead and... All the best for Tuntari as well. Thank you. Debut, big Watch debut. my film. Right, we'll do that. Yeah. Cool. Right. <laughs> Thank right. you. Right. So before we leave, any uh, uh, message to our iDream viewers uh, from you? Say something about the film and... Hi everyone, I'm Lata Hegde and I'm the actress for Tuntari. It's releasing on the 11th. Please watch my film, I promise you'll love it. Right. Thank you. Right.